are not touching the handlebar but you're just trying to practice uh, controlling your bike with minor turns with your legs without touching the handlebar let's see if I can do this one it's a little tricky little tricky little tricky little tricky yep yep I can do it I can do it okay straighten up straighten up yep yep okay it's not that difficult you know once you get this then it's off-road skills you can move the body around and I think you should be able to handle much better anyway tip of the day okay guys uh, that was a bit of a lesson on uh, how to uh, practice uh, controlling your bike with your legs um, it's a beautiful day today uh, labor day I'm heading out to St. Joe maybe do some a uh, little bit of off-roading uh, on the way maybe but uh, you know yep everything is good life is good uh, the weather is gorgeous 80 degrees on a September morning uh, you can't expect anything better uh, I got uh, the uh, foot pegs uh, from IMS and installed it it's a little uh, high because of the thickness of it so I gotta adjust that and it's a bit long so I gotta make sure my legs when I keep it on the ground uh, is further out from the bike uh, and uh, and then I got the uh, hammerhead gear lever from one of my friends. Man, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, piece of equipment, I think. You know, it just kind of makes it really effortless. It's long, it's a uh, little, little uh, narrower. So uh, you're really, uh, you know, you don't have a problem uh, uh, trying to shift uh, the gear. So that works really well and uh, I can uh, I'll probably show you a little bit of video of that uh, those are the two things I added and of course the ricochet guards as you would have seen on my uh, blog for that uh, so uh, yeah other than that uh, it's a uh, pretty good uh, if you're on the bike uh, it's always a good day and uh, that's where I'm headed to St. Joe and uh, you know just uh, enjoying uh, enjoying the ride Hey, I've been on this road before, uh, I'm just taking it again. And it goes back onto the main road, if I take the correct roads back. <laughs> my body correctly that is why uh, you know you need adventure tires uh, so you can just take off on any of these roads whenever you feel like and then uh, you don't have to worry about uh, you know trying to see if you have the right tires or not uh, so that's why I think I'm gonna go with the traction adventure instead of the, the GPS I, I feel that uh, it's better to be more in control off-road than on the road. I really don't care much about on the road. I gotta hook my legs a little bit more on the bike and move my butt backwards some more I think in the turns. backwards like this and weight the peg on this side it's beautiful country out here
nice uphill climb. This road has got everything. Explore the other side too, but another day. I'm just gonna get back here. There's a lot of good roads here. the trickiest part of off-road. Cows! Cows! Hello, buddy. wants to check me out. Oil rigs. Hello buddy. How you doing? I will drop a pen on this place. Uh, this is just gorgeous. On the way to St. Joe and it's got a lot of uphills and stuff. So from 697, you can actually take a loop and come back here. Hey, buddy. Hey, cow. How's it going? I'm sorry, I don't have any stuff to give you, buddy. Hello.
Okay, yeah, that was a good stop at uh, St. Joe. I met a couple of uh, Harley riders. Uh, they gave me some uh, fundraiser they're going to do uh, out in uh, Sherman. Uh, and uh, yep, it was pretty good. Um, the ride's pretty good. Uh, so it's not too hot under the shade in the park. It was uh, really comfortable there. And, um, and I spent a good part of half an hour there. Uh, chilled out and heading back out so I will uh, see you guys later hopefully uh, you had some fun on this uh, vlog here and I'll talk to you guys in a bit then